What's going on YouTube? Coming back at you with another knife video. Looking at a Kaiser knife today. This is the Wanderer. This is the new collaboration with Justin Lundquist who also did the Feist. Um, which I did a video on earlier. So I really like Justin's stuff and I wanted to get my hands on this one. This is actually on loan for me. Uh, not loan from me. Loan to me from Drew over at the Steel Decay channel. I'll put a link in the description to his YouTube and his Instagram so you can follow him. Really good guy. He's got a great channel. I feel like he deserves a lot more um, subscribers than he has now. He's got a lot of good knife knowledge, and he's got very similar taste to me. So you'll, if you like my channel, I think you really like Drew's. So let's talk about the, the uh, Kaiser here, the Wanderer. So let's go over the just the basic specs real quick like we like to start the videos. You're looking at a blade length of 3.3 inches. I've actually got it at 3.5. Oh, check this out. I got this today in the mail. Actually, not today. Back when I got my um, Sabenza from Toronto Earth Knives. Give me this cool little freaking tape measure. I've been needing a new one of those. So let's get that baby out. So you're looking at a blade length of three, just under three and a half. So we're right on. Just under three and a half inches for your blade length. Your blade thickness is point, or your op overall length is eight and a half inches. Let's just verify that. This thing wouldn't move around so much. Well, that's not right. Oh, the zero's right there, that's why. Yeah, so that's about right. Eight and a half inches, give or take. You guys can't see the numbers very well on that, can you? Hmm. Um, eight and a half inches on that overall. Your thickness of your blade is 0.14. SPS 35, no surprise there. Drop point with a flat grind, stone wash finish, um, four and a half inches closed. And roughly just a shy, a hair over four and a half inches closed, actually. It uh, weighs in at 4.7 ounces, um, and it is 0.45 thick in the handle. Pretty thin. I like the thinner. I don't like anything over a half, a half an inch. And you have a right hand tip up carry only. No option for left. This is a manual knife on washers, um, not on bearings. It is on washers, which I really like. It's smooth. It's very smooth. It's got a nice feel to it. Said your flat ground blade is going to be S35 VN steel, which is no surprise from Kaiser. They actually do a really good heat treat on theirs. Um, your, like I said, your action is very smooth on this one. It is on washers, and I believe it's on phosphorus and um, a mixture of phosphorus and Teflon. So it has two different types of washers, from what I understand. I haven't taken this knife apart, and I don't intend to. It's not my knife. And he may, he's probably cool that I did, but you know. It's one of those things. Once on loan, I try to really kind of baby him a little bit. I mean, I've been carrying this knife and such and used it, but I haven't really, you know, stripped it down or anything. Um, so it's got a nice, smooth action. One thing I will say about the action, and it is probably the only negative on this knife, is the detent is strong. And I'm having no problem right now, which is ironic. But the only way you can really open this knife is with the middle finger flick. There, see? And I've messed it up a few times and I'm like am I putting pressure on the lock bar so I tried holding it different I found you have to really come down on that bottom of that opening hole to open it you can't really get it open up top you've got a deep you got to dig down there and it works almost every time but it, I would still say that the D10 is strong on this and then you can't you can't uh, flick it like this oh I almost did it it's very difficult it's better to slow roll it if you're going to open it with your thumb. So I think I don't know if all of these are like that, but the D10 this is a little strong for being a um, non-flipper. You know, for being a non-flipper. I don't know what it's called. It's not a thumb stud. Uh, you know, an opening hole knife. So um, nice pocket clip on this, guys. It is. So that's before I move on. That is a really the only negative I would even give this knife is that D10 is a bit strong. Um, it's not as easy to middle finger flick as like say a spider co. I mean you can see I've been doing it just fine But only when I get my finger down in there, so uh, Pocket clip I really like it's milled titanium, which is nice it has some good spring to it still It's not too stiff I and mean, it carries nicely in the pocket It's pretty deep too, and you don't have a ton of knives sticking up So I do really really like the pocket clip I like the direction Kaiser's going with their new clips on their knives 
I feel like they're going in the right direction um, with some of these milled clips. Um, carries nicely in the pocket. It's, it's slimmer. Um, it's not too heavy. It's under five ounces. It's a pretty good sized knife, and it's you know under five ounces is going to be fine uh, for most people. Um, ergonomically, it is very nice. It is super ergonomic. It feels great in the hand. Just super super comfortable. Uh, there's my medium sized hands and how much. You know you got quite a bit of handle left over there. Um, you don't feel like you're going to slip up on there either. Um, it, it's just really nice and well designed handle by Justin. It's and well executed by Kaiser. So the handle and the ergonomics are really good on this one. I didn't feel any hot spots. Jeez. Any hot spots on this knife in their forward or reverse grip there. So, and in this grip, nothing. No hot spots. Very ergonomic. Feels good. I love the design on the knife. It's pretty simple but elegant and almost has a Spider Co. Spidey Chef look to it, kind of. Um, man, I never grab the Insingo blade when I want to. Kind of a blade shape reminds me of a little bit of Insingo. It's got a pretty good belly on there. Let's compare it here to the Graymond Dua. This is a recurve, slight recurve on the Dua. And there's a good size comparison for you too. So you can see how it's got kind of this upswept. Um, so they call it a drop point. It's almost a almost a sheep's foot draw point mix. It's kind of different. I like it though. It's a good blade shape, good for EDC tasks. Um, fit and finish is a Kaiser, so it is good. Now, better on this model than the previous Lundquist model. There was an issue, and they've I think they recalled that knife completely um, for the stop pin issues. So the the fit and finish on this one is really nice. Um, pretty typical Kaiser. It's not going to like blow you away fit and finish but it is really good so you definitely get your money's worth this is a hundred eighty dollar knife guys it's not three four hundred dollar you know riot or we or anything we're talking chinese companies here it is well made um pretty basic slab of titanium with a um kind of a not a bee blast finish kind of a satin finish um kind of a not a stone wash it's kind of satin i guess is the best way to describe the finish on the titanium um, typical Kaiser hardware, um, so it's nothing flashy. It's it's a very subdued knife, but it's nice and it looks you know it's a good looking knife, and um, it's well made. So, like I said, the only negative I give it is the uh, is the detent's a little too strong, and that can vary knife to knife as well. Um, so good design by Justin. I like this um, cutout here, kind of this relief here on the lock bar, or on the um, for the lock bar on the uh, show side. It, like I said, very smooth action. I like that it's on those washers. Um, it's It's been a good cutter. I've just used it for basic EDC tasks. I haven't done any food prep or anything with it, but just everyday stuff. It's been fine. I can see it being pretty good for you food, for uh, food as well, though, if you're doing a little food prep with that. Um, value is very high. I mean, 180 bucks. You're under $200 with S35 and titanium. Um, you're doing pretty good there. Um, not quite as high as like the real steel Megalodon that I'm going to put a video up on one of these days. I have it. Um, here's the one I just reviewed recently, the Boker Lateralis. Um, 80 bucks, but you only get D2 and stainless steel. If this was titanium, this would be easily that same price range. Uh, let's look at the, the ZT808. Um, right around the same. This is a limited edition one, but right around the same price get the same kind of materials as well but you're made here in the USA versus China something to consider as well so maybe the value is higher on the ZT than it is on the Kaiser but it's still very good on the Kaiser don't get me wrong so overall a nice little knife I or I shouldn't say little it's pretty good size overall a nice um, knife very smooth it's got a it's just a, a lot of rounded corners and edges and it's very smooth in the hand um, it's it feels nice it feels well made uh, it's de definitely a well thought out design and I like that blade shape quite a bit. Um, like I said, only negative is this. It's kind of hard to open. Um, that is mostly due to detent. If that, and I'm not putting pressure on the lock bar. I've like tried it many times holding it different ways. See, I mean I'm literally not putting any, well a little bit for my, f no that's up there. So I'm not even putting pressure up there. And you know, but you shouldn't have to like finagle it to open it it should just you know so you can slow roll but you can feel when you break that detent I'll show you how strong that detent is 
I was giving it a good bit of force before it sucked out of there. So it's almost got a flipper knife detent on a non-flipper. And typically on a non-flipper, you're going to have a little bit lighter detent like this Grayman or this, uh, well, here's a Sabenza. We always got to do the Sabenza size comparison of the small. This is the crosshatch. You know, this has got a uh, smoother, not smoother, but easier um, detent to work with even. So that's my only gripe. But I want to thank uh, Drew over at, at Steel Decay uh, on YouTube and on Instagram. Go check him out. Go subscribe to his channel. Just like him on Instagram. Uh, he does great videos, guys. Lots of good EDC stuff. Lots of nice, really good taste in knives. And I um, want to thank him again for sending this over for me to, to check out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.